Okay, the first speaker of the symposium is Chao Zhen, it's myself. I come to Japan five years ago, and before that, I stayed and worked in Hong Kong, Taiwan, and United States. So today, my role is to first introduce to you what is a youth leadership program and what is designed for, who can do it, and why we should do it. In the second part, I will provide a typical rundown of a youth leadership program. It is an eight weeks program, and then I will explain in more detail what is included in case some of you may be interested to adopt it in the future. So Youth Leadership Program is a program established by Toastmasters International, which is a global nonprofit organization that helps individuals to improve their speaking and leadership skills. So maybe I will briefly introduce what is Toastmaster before I explain the program more. This is an organization that established almost 100 years ago. And now it has clubs all over the world. Right now about 0.3 million members inside many, many clubs. In Japan, there are about the 200 clubs nor is the starting from Sapporo and South East goes to Shikoku Island. And Toastmaster is a club for people older than 18 years old. Inside the usual club activities, there's no instructors, but the club members, they conduct learning by doing workshops at their regular meetings. Usually there are different meeting rows designed for different kinds of listening and speaking skills. And then the members will have chance to give prepared or unprepared speeches. And then they also have these volunteer roles for leadership inside the clubs. And Toastmaster International designed the youth leadership programs in order to give back to the community. This program is designed for members younger than 18 years old, too young to be a Toastmaster member. And this program hopes to give today's youth the ability to speak, to lead, to think, and to listen. So briefly, the reason to adopt YLP or Youth Leadership Program is because it provides the participating youth a lot of valuable opportunities. For example, the two major skills that participating students will obtain are in the blue column here, speaking abilities. They will organize deliver speeches, either prepared in advance or without opportunity to prepare. They will also learn how to overcome their nervousness when they are speaking to strangers, and they also control their fear when they voice their thoughts. Also, they also learn how to provide positive and constructive feedback for each other. In the process, they also develop the leadership program uh, skills because the participants are always working in a group. They have to help each other and then take initiatives to lead and then conduct meetings. They also learn how to listen to each other and how to watch nonverbal cues for better communication. At the end, they will develop confidence by achieving their goals and then being able to do what they were unable to do before. To start a youth leadership program, there are two requirements. First, must have a person in charge called the coordinator. The second must have a sponsoring Toastmaster clubs behind it. And this coordinator must be a Toastmaster member in good standing. And then this person needs to have substantial experiences to complete the program. 
So a sponsor is the person responsible to uh, organize and implement the whole program. Sometimes a, a sponsor may be assisted by a few members as assistants. And then sponsor clubs provide the personnel or financial help for someone to rent a venue, to buy the materials, and then to ensure the program is successful. How much does it cost? It is free for all the youth leadership participants. All the expenses that used for renting venue or printing or buying learning materials will be covered by the sponsoring Toastmaster Club. So this is a very cost-friendly program. The participants in this program must be under 18 years old. And the best size for this program is recommended to be 15 to 20 people. And this is because we want to make sure everyone has a chance to speak. And then the proper size will make sure the participants receive proper attention. Sometimes they are partners who work with uh, Toastmaster Club. For example, parents who want to help their kids or community groups who hope to help the young members in the uh, community to be uh, better at speaking in public or schools or NGO groups. A standard YLP program lasts for eight weeks and then each week the students spend about one to two hours. Because of the partner differences, a YLP can happen in a living room, for example, or it can happen in a public library or a school classroom. And these days, because of the pandemic, they are also YLP held online. So to close, the goal to hold this youth program is because we cannot always build the future for them but we can build our youth so that they can have a better future. Now I'm going to offer an overview of what the youth leadership program usually include. A program usually includes eight sessions and each session can last for 90 minutes to two hours depending on the size of participating students. The details can vary. The coordinators may adjust and change the contents to fit the students' needs. So session one is the orientation. The purpose of the first session is to introduce to students what to expect. Some of the students might have attended Ekaiwa classes and other students may have English activities in school. So every student brought a different kind of imagination and expectation to the program. So in week one, we introduced ourselves and mentors to them. At the same time, we also provided a demo meeting so that students have a better ideas of what to expect in the coming weeks. So in session one, for some students, it is their first time to enter an English speaking program completely. So we also try to create the mini activities to help them relax and to, to provide a more interactive opportunity so that it is different from the usual one-way lecture style they experience in their class. And at the end of orientation, we also explain to them their first speech project called Icebreaker. So this is a project where they introduce themselves to the whole group. We provide a sample speech to tell them that we do not want a typical, my name is blah, blah, I come from blah, blah school type of speech. We encourage them to find one or two points of the life and then go deep. The first assignment will be three to five minutes. So we provide a sample speech for them. Before we close, we have this mentor consultation time. 
Usually it includes three to four students with one adult mentor. And this is the only time that they can speak Japanese or Chinese with their mentors. So when we assign the grouping, we pay attention to the native speaker. So this is a time that when the younger or less experienced students or less proficient students have a time to share their concern, get help from the mentor. And this time usually is 10 minutes. And this is the only time that they can, that they can use language other than English. So after session one, we actually received a few students who, who were totally overwhelmed and they wanted to quit the program. And this is a time that we assure them that um, if you stay, then you will see the difference. It is very important that we let the student know that they are not here to compare with each other. They are here to improve themselves. From week one to week eight, everyone will grow. Everyone will be better. So this is what we usually do in the first session. In session two, we start a more regular meeting format, and then it, com it includes 10 components. Most of the components are conducted by the students. Only the, uh, the few highlighted parts were uh, conducted by adults, and that including the beginning, we open the meeting, make announcement, and then at the end, we provide feedbacks to students, speakers, and then every week we include a mini workshop to teach them something about their speaking skill. For example, uh, in this session two, we talk about what is a good speech structures. Basically, we encourage them to including opening body conclusion so that it's easier for speakers to follow. From session two, most of the meeting follow a typical rundown. Session three. In session three, we talk more uh, on vocal variety and body gestures so that the student become aware of other tools they can use to enhance their speech impact. And you can see the rundown is very similar to the previous rundown. In a typical meeting, there are three parts. In the first part, every week we have six to seven students who come with a prepared speech. And then they will be supported by their fellow um, students with timing and with the help to watch the language they use and etc. The second part is the impromptu or unprepared speech. So students come unprepared, but one student will prepare the questions to ask the students. So a part one and two are speeches, except that part one is longer prepared speeches, and then part two is a shorter unprepared speech. In session three is the feedback part. This part is provided by both mentors and the students themselves. Students will provide the timing feedback, and then the filler words the feedback, and etc. And then the mentors will provide the comments on the speeches. And as usual, we will provide a workshop before we have this mentor mentee time. In session four, we have um, a special topic on impromptu speaking. For many students, when they come unprepared and they have to speak in a group of strangers, it is extremely stressful. But this happens a lot in those social occasions. When a student goes on exchange or meet a group of new friends, they need to know how to break eyes, how to answer questions, and how to continue the conversation. So in session four, we provided a more intensive impromptu speaking training we tell them how to properly open a social talk and then how to be sensitive to make sure everyone in the group share some speaking time and then how to provide opportunity for the quieter ones. In other words, we uh, help them to prepare for those uncomfortable situations. 
then we we separate into small groups to have this social conversation for 10 minutes we brought we bring them back and then ask them to reflect on the experience what topics works well and what do not and why with a reflection we send them out for the second round with different partners and we come back improve again and then the third round so with this practice they can talk to more than 10 new friends at the same time they are also aware of how they can become more comfortable and make other people more comfortable in those social situations in session four we also tell them their next speech project the next speech project will be uh, give a speech with a purpose in other words they have to be uh, having a target audience in mind with a target objective. In session five, the second half of the program and move to project two called speech with a purpose. So all the students needs to decide if they are speaking to inform, to entertain, to inspire or to persuade people to adopt new ideas. And then they will receive feedback on uh, whether they have achieved these goals. One very essential element in the youth leadership program is the evaluation or the feedback session. In this program, we encourage each other to help fellow students. They become an active participant. They are also givers. They are no longer the takers in a passive or one-way type of lectures. So when it towards the end, we start to provide them the ability to receive feedback and give feedback. So in this session, we teach them how to use the evaluation they have received, how to not be defensive at first, how to really listen to uh, the real parts that they can get a nutrition from. At the same time, we also teach them how to do constructive feedback. That is, what kind of words to use will be easier to be accepted, and then how to distinguish advice and feedback. Advice is something like a you should, you should not, you must, you have to. Feedback is, I hear this, and I feel maybe you could next time, da, da, da. And in this youth leadership program, we give feedback. We do not give advice. So in this session, we teach students how to do that and prepare them to provide the constructive and helpful feedback for each other. In session seven, we let the student be the evaluators for each other. They have to provide the short messages in writing or some of the more um, proficient students will start to give oral feedback for each other. We give them a very helpful and detailed guidebook so that they can refer it to so that they are not like a thrown to the stage without any useful materials. And in session seven, we feel that it is a good time to let them know that speaking good English will provide a lot of new life opportunities to them. So we invite the mentors to come and talk about their life experiences because of their foreign language skills. So some mentors um, were volunteered with Jaikai, some went abroad to study, some worked overseas. So these life experiences were to inform the student that English is not only for exam and tests. It has good and practical influence on your future life. This is also the second last session. And then their final session will be show uh, what they have learned. So this is the week that we send invitations to parents teachers and schools and sponsoring clubs to invite them to come to the final session. 
Session eight is a showcase. The student will go on the stage and then perform their speech in front of the uh, guests. At the end, every student who have participated seven out of the eight sessions will receive the completion certificate. We also thank the volunteer helpers and in public occasions, and finally, we receive feedback from the students, parents, and school authorities so that we use them for future planning and improvement. So this is a sample rundown of an eight-week youth leadership program. I personally think eight weeks is the right design. Most students take three to four weeks to get familiar with the flow. And then they start to be able to really shine, polish, and refine their own speaking ability in the second half. And then after eight weeks, I think it's the right duration for them to really see visible changes. And it is also short enough that it's not a big burden in addition to their school activities. So if you also find that this program may help your kids, your students, your neighbor, or your community, please uh, approach to a local club. If you cannot find a local Toastmaster club, you can always contact me by email, and I'll be happy to help you find one. Thank you.